Some of the pieces have what I call throat harmonics. There's other names for them. I don't know what those other names are. I haven't looked them up in the 20th century techniques for clarinetting books. But the way that you do them is by moving the throat, and what you get is the harmonics above a low note, so I call them throat harmonics, as you hear in Tooth and Claw. So if you don't know what harmonics are, look it up. They're very important to music. What happens is above each note, there's a lot of other notes that you can bring out. And you can see the throat move. In general, you open your throat up and raise the front of the tongue towards the back of the front teeth even more. You put the tongue into a glissing position. Forcing a lot of air really close to the tip. And then open the throat up. And you can control the upper harmonic by moving the throat. notes to get the harmonics on it first. You can get them anywhere in the low register. And a side note is I have not been able to find a way to circular breathe and keep the throat harmonics at the same time. You have to go in and out of them, take a breath. You don't want to just remove your throat randomly to try to get these throat harmonics. Try to describe certain vowel sounds with your throat while you're playing. The, the regular sound, the regular shape for a clarinet tone that's an even tone is a E on the inside of the front of the tongue and an O on the outside. E and in the back you can change a bunch of stuff for these throat harmonics. So that's in the front and in the back it can change to and then you get the harmonics. 